in this video we are going to learn purchase requisition and after that taking that purchase requisition and how to create a purchase order so first to create a purchase requisition i will go to me 51n close this uh, this is not needed and uh, just add the item overview details like here i am going to give 10 and this is a process is applicable for uh, even uh, material or a service based PO. So select cost center specific and I will give here. Um, we are taking Java service or something. And quantity one delivery unit as each. Here I will give D and delivery date I want today. and material group here i will take the material group and plant also i will take uh, which is already there storage location we'll take the storage location same and tata motors requisition all other information is not needed purchase organization yes this is needed Okay, so this information which is there here are okay. Then I will go to our item details here. I am going to give a GL account. So GL account, I have two GL accounts. So this is one GL account expense related and this is my cost center. So after giving this one and I will go and evaluate this product as a hundred uh, USD service I am taking so everything is looks good and uh, I will check whether I have any uh, errors which will stop me so we don't have any errors I will just save this one so once it is saved just double click on it and copy this purchase requisition number copy this one and go to purchase order so now we'll go to purchase order ME 21n so here close this one mm -hmm. then if it is showing up then close it or not required so then go to item overview so from a item overview if you scroll to the end of the screens so you might see something related to purchase requisition field so just give your purchase requisition here and press enter so it will automatically take and here it is asking for a vendor details so we just need to enter the vendor here so i will just give the vendor details here and press enter so from which vendor and also the amount which we have decided uh, that is 100 and uh, these are all fine now we'll go to our transaction again and we'll see and we'll check uh, whether we have any uh, errors or not so i don't see any errors and let's see the header data what is showing up in the header data of the organizational data so you can see it is showing up correctly and also we'll check account assignment field all are showing up correctly and I will post the purchase order there we go. okay so purchase order 470052 has been posted okay so you can cross check once again if you want to see just click on other purchase order and give the purchase order details over here and press enter so you can see the purchase order like this so this is how you can create a purchase requisition and taking that purchase requisition uh, and you can create a purchase order also thank you